Today we are going to dive right into a new topic, coral reefs. Fun fact, did you know that coral reefs are one of the oldest ecosystems in the world? They've been around for at least 230 million years and they barely change over time. They're the same as they were during the dinosaur times. I like to call them the grandpa of the sea. By now, we have all seen them as we walk around and enjoy our week here, but have you taken a closer look yet? Have you considered the ecosystems that exist in those very reefs? Did you know that those little things on the bottom of the ocean are actually alive? They are classified as animals because they cannot make their own food, and instead they have small tentacles that catch food for them. However, even though they are animals, coral have no eyes, ears, nose, tongue, or brain. So for something as interesting as this creature, why don't we know that much about it? Let's start by thinking about where they come from in the first place. Have you ever thought about how coral is created? Coral comes from coral polyps, which can look like a lot of different things. They come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. There are seven main kinds of coral. The first up is called the massive hard coral, which looks very porous and is pretty big. Next up is the encrusting hard coral, which has a lot of little bumps on it and is usually very colorful and looks a little dirty. Next is called folios coral, and it's commonly white and it kind of looks like a snowflake with the way that it reaches upwards. Next is the mushroom coral, which has a mushroom shaped body and it has ridges all around the outside. Next is the digitate coral, which is made up of cylinder-like pieces, which can either be super short or really long. Now we have the table coral, which branches upwards and looks like a countertop. And lastly, we have the branching coral, which stretches out and looks like a tree branch underwater. But why is any of this important? What do they do for the ocean that makes them so awesome? Coral reefs actually supply shelter, food, and a place for reproduction for at least 25% of the ocean's fish. Hawaiian coral reefs are a great example of this. Their reefs take care of 7,000 different species of fish. Not only are coral reefs extremely important for ocean life, but they are also great for us at the same time. Reefs protect coastlines from storms and erosion, offer recreation, and they provide us with food and even some new medicines. Over half a billion people depend on coral reefs. Even more than that, coral reefs generate about half of Earth's oxygen. Seems pretty necessary to me. These pretty areas of the sea are key to the survival and success of life on and off land. So now that we know more about these brilliant, important, and interesting creatures that make up the reefs we know and love, let's go explore them. It's hard to believe their beauty and variety through pictures, so let's go out and get a good look.